Walking through the Beaver Stadium tunnel can be intimidating. It's not because of the 110,000 people in the stands, they're on Penn State's side, but because of the ghosts of the All-Americans and Hall of Famers that have passed through the same space, as well as playing for a legendary coach like Joe Paterno. But Paterno has always preached one thing about football, have fun. Sometimes it takes someone like a redshirt freshman to show everyone how that's done. Evan Royster was a catalyst, and after two road losses, the Nittany Lions needed one. And the happy spilled over to all facets of their game. In the gun, Morelli, back he goes. Sets up, long and deep, Dia Butler makes the catch at the Iowa 35, out of bounds at the 34, and a first down for the Nittany Lions, and a perfect throw by Anthony Morelli. Play action fake. Throws wide open, Derek Williams. Wide open, walking it into the end zone is Derek Williams. And what response by Morelli. Suddenly, these young Lions were doing what they knew how to do and doing what they had never done before. The good times rolled and everyone was having fun. Well, not quite everyone. The Iowa Hawkeyes had little to smile about, particularly on offense. While both teams entered the game with highly regarded defenses, the Nittany Lions separated themselves with a smothering, suffocating, bone-crushing defense. Here comes the blitz, no chance for Christensen. He was swamped under by Dan Connor. Nobody's in there unless you're full speed. All right, make it happen, you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Perhaps the only other place where the intensity was nearly comparable was along the offensive line. While they helped Evan Royster run early after he was hurt, they moved a lot of tonnage to help Rodney Kinlaw to a career day. He would carry 14 times in the fourth quarter alone. It all added up to a fun day in a very happy valley. Kinlaw carry 27 with Hahn plowing the road, 20, 15, 10, to the far corner, touchdown! Penn State has Rodney Kinlaw caps a fabulous day.